Hey guys, how we doing? Melbourne May TV, this is Simon, your host, and today it's cocktail safari time. And we're going to go see Eddie, Hurricane Eddie, and he's gonna be making us three cocktails, but today's episode is all about that chartreuse Jaffa Martini. So stay tuned and cue intro. <laughs> Name's Eddie. I, uh, I've been bartending now for 10 years. Um, just retired from the industry a couple of months ago. Um, looking at having a family, so, you know, sort of going another way, getting a day job. Um, already miss it. Love it. Bartending's just awesome fun. It's great, great to be in that element where, you know, you're engaging with people when they're out having fun. You know, you've got people saying, look, you know, thank you very much. You've given us a night of our lives. You know, it's been great. You know, that sort of thing. You don't get that in any other job. Three cocktails today. Um, so one of them um, sort of drew inspiration from a few elements. Um, I wanted to do a chocolate martini, but something that wasn't creamy, something that's a little bit more in the, in the history of martini. Like a martini is gin, vermouth, that's it. What we've got here, we've got a Pedro Jimenez sherry. We have a triple sec, um, really nice neutral orange liqueur. Um, we've got cheap and nasty looking creme de cacao white. Um, the reason why I go with this particular one is that it's got a nondescript flavour. It's not overly rich in cocoa. It stays neutral and it lets you highlight the orange a bit more. And then the Pedro Jimenez lends that little bit of chocolate to it that it really needs. Um, and then we've got just hints of chartreuse. Um, working with uh, one of the greatest French chefs going around uh, was uh, Mr. Philippe Michel. He, uh, he showed me to use that with, uh, with chocolate. He used to do some beautiful desserts with that. Um, so the idea of putting that in I got from your traditional martini. You use a fortified wine to start off with. Generally you'd use a vermouth. So I thought, let's go with a nice Pedro Jimenez. Creme de cacao. Go 45. Just over 30. And finally, chartreuse, really just for taste. And then want a hint of it. It's a very, very prominent, strong flavour. So I'm just the dash. Too much during service, especially you don't want to take forever to dilute it, and it still gets just as chilled. There's no need for a heap of ice in there. All you're going to do is agitate it like that. It's lovely. There's just a hint of chartreuse through that too. It's not over the top. Tiny bit in there. Just give it a rinse around. Make sure that it comes up above where the liquid's going to go so you get those aromatics as soon as you get your face close to the glass. Okay. 
far as putting a garnish on it, you can use anything you want really. Um, I've had bartenders that'll actually, um, they'll get some chocolate buttons and they'll shave it over the top. Really up to you. I like just a little twist of orange, gives it a nice aromatic side over the top as well. There we go. Chacho Straffer. 